Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this session we will continue with the inventory valuation techniques and we will use weighted average method to value the inventory. For this we will use the same question which we have used for FIFO method. So at the very first we'll start with making the format Mention the date. We have three columns for receipt, three for issue, and another three for balance. Now, in the first column of receipt, we'll mention the units rate then mount units rate amount units denote the number of units which has been received or purchased and uh, may be issued for consumption in case of issue. Rate is the per unit rate and the amount is the multiplication of the rate and unit. Now as we are done with our format Now we'll understand what is the meaning of weighted average. Here we are computing average by taking the unit purchased or consumed in a lot as our weight. Here we can say that our weighted average cost is equal to the total weighted average cost is equal to total cost divided by total number of units. Now we'll understand this with the help of this example. So let's start with the first entry. And that's on 1st of January 2011. We have balance which is nil on the same date we have a receipt that is purchase of 100 unit at the rate of 30 rupees per unit so the amount is 3000 and the balance will be equal to receipt minus minus issues so as there is no issue so the balance would be equal to the purchase or what you can call receipts 
on 15th of January 2011 we have issued 50 units now there are only one kind of inventory here that is we again name them as type A type B so only type A is available so we can issue only type A so we have issued 50 units of type A because we are only available with type A inventory at the rate of 30 per unit so the amount is 1500 and now we deduct the number of unit which has been issued from the balance the rate remains the same and the amount is multiplied with this now again on 1st of Feb 2011 we have a purchase of 200 units at 40 rupees per unit so the amount comes to 8000 now the balance would be 250 units adding balance and what has been received or what has been purchased the total amount would be 1500 that was the balance and the present amount now what we have to do is to calculate the rate is just to divide the amount by the number of units so we have a rate of 38 rupees per unit now on 15th of Feb 2011 the company has issued 100 units the rate would be what has been calculated earlier so the rate would be 38 and the amount would be 3800 the balance would be 250 minus what has been issued the rate remains the same and the amount would be 38 multiplied by 150 in the same manner for the entry of 20th ap mm, April not it's Feb 20th of Feb so we have same entry for this one the balance would be deducted by 100 units the price remains the same amount is 1900 so as there is no transaction which has been shown after 20th of Feb so we assume that there is no transaction and the value of the stock on 30th 31st of March remains the same as it has been calculated in the schedule above as on 31st of March 2011 is 50 multiplied with 38 is to 1900 so you can just bold them or just mark them 
So this is the balance amount that was left and this is the method and this is the way that we calculate uh, our value inventory by the use of weighted average method. Hope this video helps you uh, in solving the inventory valuation problems. Thank you for watching this video.